Hello everybody, my name is Oscar. I am from Lima, Peru in South America. Today I'm with my cat Felix here and I want to talk about ancient pre-Hispanic Peruvian pottery. Uh, the pottery in Peru is very important in archaeology to understand the ancient civilizations and here I have some pieces that were given to me by a friend of mine. He's from Cusco. He found them in his backyard. Um, these are more or less five to six hundred years old because they belong to Inca civilization and they are nicely decorated with geometrical designs, usually, which is the Inca style. But I also inherited a few pieces from my grandfather, and I want to show you my favorite of them. Uh, it's quite big, as you can see. It's almost 1,000 years old and belongs to a pre-Inca civilization called Chancay. So today I'm going to talk about Peruvian pottery. I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to show you, it's a place right in the middle of the city of Lima. I'm talking about a pre-Inca pyramid. This one is approximately 2200 years old and it's right in the middle of Lima. So it's in places like this where most of the pottery was found since this was originally a temple but later it became also a cemetery. Several mummies were found here and we obtain also beautiful pottery from this archaeological site. I am back home now after visiting the pyramid and I wanted to show you these pieces I have Except for this one that I purchased, the other three I made myself. So, they are special, and I'm going to show you why. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to put some water inside this one. There's actually water already in it. I'm just showing you that we put water. And the next thing we're going to do is to make sure the water gets here. So, when we tilt it back and the water gets into this part, it expels the air out. Listen to what happens. The reason it whistles is because inside each of these pieces we have something like this. This is a whistle with an air channel, so when the air comes out of the piece, it makes a sound. So this is another one. It has less water. It has bubbles inside. And that produces a different effect. These two are very special because we get to see them during the tours we do with Odysseys here in Lima. So this is the picture of the original one in the museum and this is the replica I made. So this one here it's slightly different because we don't put water inside this one this is designed to blow into it. Listen to the sound. That's what I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in Lima anytime soon. Goodbye.